Yo, what's going on, boys? What's up? I'm back from Worlds. And I'm I, I'm surprisingly not sick. I have extremely bad uh, allergies, as always. Name something new. More iconic than Sam plus sniffling. Are you ready for this? Uh, I have an insane video for you guys. We're playing on the Season 11 PTS, by the way. We're probably going to be only playing the PTS until it actually releases but uh or until it gets taken down i don't actually know how long it's going to be up for but <clears throat> we're doing pts here and there's a new build floating around first off there's there's a few things i'm gonna i'm gonna say real quick so i'm not gonna I'm, like lock in i'm just gonna waste the time down uh if i met you at worlds it was a pleasure meeting you, dude. I I swear to God, when I went when I went there, I didn't think much would be different from the last time I went to Worlds, in like season seven, maybe, maybe season six, because season seven was COVID, right? So I didn't think much would be different from four years ago, uh, and then I realized the last time I went to Worlds. I had 70,000 subscribers. This time I have 150,000. I've more than doubled that that base of viewership that, uh, that that we had going into season six worlds. And I hadn't gone to one since then. So I expected things to kind of be normal. Like, like I would just go and watch the games. Maybe I'd sign like two, three autographs, take like one, two pictures. I signed like 350 autographs. I took like 200 photos with people. Uh, you know, I talked to so many people. Like every single pro player I talked to knew who I was. It, it was insane that just making dual videos, I could do that with everyone and just like have that insane like connection with everything. It, it's it's honestly ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> and I'm super grateful. You really know the way to the I had stars. the time of my life, dude. I had the time of my life there. It was actually so much fun playing. Um, let me hold on. Let me go. Horn shard is still OP, right? But you have to activate it. What if I just been Vibrant Shard? Every 100 unit travels gives me a buff. Minions have spawned. For 15% of my magical power. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, meeting everybody and like... Talking to everybody, it was just... It was so cool, man. It was so cool. I like... It. Oh... I can't even put into words how much fun I had this this world. It was like it was just incredible. And not only was it incredible like meeting everybody, signing stuff for you guys, it was also like super validating cuz I know like it doesn't really make sense to y'all, but like you guys for some reason see me as like a cool guy, <laughs> which is not the case uh, by any means i'm definitely a dork but for some reason some of you guys see me as a cool guy and i uh i see myself as the dweeb that sits at my computer and sometimes uploads youtube videos and streams and when i go to this you know world championship this convention for smite and all these people want to meet me and like have stories and backgrounds of how much I've helped them. And, uh, you know, I see it in person. It's, it's so rewarding from my point of view, you know, and, and I just get to put a face to all the names that I've met over the years and all the, all the people that type comments that I see. And, you know, it's just so amazing. And I'm so happy that I met every single one of you guys. And trust me, I, uh, I know now how much like this work, if you want to call it work, means. Also, what is this? What's that little circle there? What does that do? I don't know what that does. Oh, there! Oh, it's the meteor. 
There's meteors in duel. Oh shit, that's sick. Okay, so another thing, I gotta go through like a million trillion different things. Wait, does it give you a? Wait, do you actually get scepter and duel now? No shot. No actual shot. You get scepter and duel. He got it. Oh shit. He actually got scepter, dude. This is not good. I didn't know Scepter was in duel. That's okay. Ow. Why am I taking 10 damage? Oh, the golden shard. Right, right. All right. Um, so yeah, other than me, like, crying and, and cringing about how awesome it was to meet everyone. Um, like, uh, I'm really genuinely happy. Like uh, there was a few days where, you know, I would get up to go to the bathroom for like from watching the game or something. And I would just, I'd get stopped by like 75 people just going to the bathroom that day. You know, it's insane that that many people know about me, let alone are like at the world championship. I don't know. I don't know. If you guys did take a picture with me, by the way, or have have me sign something, uh, I do have a thread on Twitter that you can put those those photos and stuff because I do want to see them. I actually I took so many photos with everyone at Worlds, and I didn't take any for myself. Can I have this, please? Nice. I got Scepter, baby. I got Scepter. Look at all that damage. Look at that damage. Get him, Scepter. Get him, baby. Wow, you do like a lot of damage. Oh, shit. Okay, we're safe. I'm not safe. We're not safe here. Ow, 112 damage. 112 damage. Dead to archers, though, maybe. He's, he's walking behind him. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> enough of me gushing about how awesome it is that you guys are fans and how awesome and super undeserving I am of your fans, your fan base, I guess. What does this do? A relic quest. Upgrades my relic, right? Um, Let's get into some season 11 patch notes, shall we? Lifesteal on minions is 25% lower but on gods, it's 25% higher. And on top of that, the cap of it has been raised by 30%. There, there was a lifesteal cap before. But the raise of it has been raised by 30% uh, for both physical and magical gods. So both physical and magical gods are going to lifesteal a shit ton. Like an actual crap ola ton. All right, walk this way. Hello? I've decided you're dead. Punk. Well, there's a meteor in mid. I gotta go get that. If you don't know what meteor does, uh, because we went over the lifesteal patch notes, right? This meteor now, it drops these little pebbles every time you auto attack it. It has 10 uh, ticks of health. And, um is only damaged by auto attacks. Each little pebble it drops every time you auto attack it, it drops a pebble that gives you three XP and five gold for a total of, uh, I mean, I'm sure you can guess, but 30 XP and 50 gold. And then once you fully get it, you get the scepter, which is basically just a thing that does a percentage of your auto attack damage to everything in its radius. Um, as you see here, I'll walk up, it'll tick 25 right there. Which, uh, if I auto you, how much do I do? I do 61. So it does about like 30% of your damage. Punk. Not today, Satan. Can I have that? Nice. 
Oh, oh, okay. I could have altered it. But I figured, you know what? Let's not. So there's there's this build, by the way. The build that I'm doing. Uh, I know I haven't talked like at all about the game. The build I'm doing is obviously something to do with the new lifesteal being 30% higher in general on cap and 25% higher on gods. So if you if you do the lifesteal cap, you're doing 55% more lifesteal against gods, which is actually insane. Who got the mannequin? I did. Get shit on. I got the mannequin scepter. I'm going to murder you. I missed. Why is it only doing two damage? And three damage now. Does it do lower and lower damage as time goes on? That's what it seems like. It's auto attacking nothing right now. All right. You can live. I have no mana. All right. So obviously we go Bancrofts. Obviously we go Typhons. Uh, relic wise. Let's go Blink. Okay. So you know the life seal changes. You know the the meteor change. There's a new relic called Divine Barrier. It's extremely broken and needs to be nerfed and probably will be nerfed before live comes out. I assume at least. Sorry, I'm focusing. Um and what it does is basically it puts up like a thoth three and you do i think 10 percent more damage when you're autoing through it i'm sorry you do 30 percent more damage when you're autoing through it never mind i take it back again you do 10 percent more damage while autoing it through it at full upgrade they do 30% less damage. Sorry, I wanted it. I might die here, though. Ow. Okay. I got huntered. So they do 30% less auto attack damage while going through it. Like Thoth 3. Like I said, it's just a big wall. Uh, you do 10% damage more while auto attacking through it. And uh, they are slowed by 30% when they walk through it. So basically like when enemies walk through it. If if allies walk through it, nothing happens. Um, but you can put it down like right here, let's say. And stop him from doing as much damage to the tower. Or you could put it down over there and do more damage to their tower. Or you could simply just place it there to help with, um, oh, what is it? To help with, oh God, am I deceased here? Okay. Wait, I'm chilling. Nice. Nice. Um... It's just a massive way to like, not really turn a fight, but to change the direction a fight can go. Because if I'm being chased and I place it right here, he can't walk through it. It'll slow by 30%, which gives me a massive advantage in the fight. A huge advantage in the fight, you know? So I, I don't really know what, uh, I don't really know what to do against this it lasts for 30 seconds by the way and the cooldown at max rank is 90 seconds if you get relic dagger it lowers it by 40 so like it's even lower um i don't know i really don't know what to do all i know is it's kind of broken and uh if you can buy it you should the reason i did not yeah see see look at him look at him look at look at the asshole I'm alting the slow. Ow. 
That scepter hurts, bro. He's juking so much, I have nothing up. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. He jumped in and got clapped. I'll take it. So this build is inspired by a YouTube short that I saw. Uh, it wasn't a YouTube short. It was a Twitter short, but he uploaded it to YouTube. And I will show you guys at the end of the game. Um, to give credit where credit's due, I didn't make this build. It's a Afrubis. Afrubis build is what he calls it. Um, it's a Fruby. And I think it's like incredibly strong. I don't think it's going to be very strong in real games, to be honest with you, because you have no defense and uh, anti-heal kind of craps on it. But if your enemy doesn't build anti-heal, it's kind of broken. All right, he's getting he's getting the meteor. While you get the meteor, I'm going to get red buff. I'm okay with that trade. Push these over, by the way. I missed. I missed again. This is going to hurt. Ow, ow. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Yeah, uh, crit is incredibly broken at the moment. Just so we're all aware. Um, crit is definitely the strongest possible thing. Rejuvenating heart is something that's super OP. Uh, it's a new item in the game. Well, it's not new, but it's reworked. Uh, to any lifesteal that you or your allies do, or any any lifesteal that you do will also heal additionally yourself plus nearby allies for 33% of that healing. So, uh, all the lifesteal I'm doing is 33% stronger now. I get like an additional 33% tick on my heals. Did he DC? I think he DC'd. We'll wait for him. That's fine. Um, I don't really need a, either of these. I assume the glyphs didn't change. But they still look the same. Is he DC'd still? No, he's not. He's gaming. All right. That's game. I want to show you how much healing I do. Like how much lifesteal I have. It's absurdly strong. Like I just... I just do... I, I take no damage. I take no damage. I wish there was a way to show you um, like everything in one video, but I don't think there is like the entire patch in one video, but I can show you the things that I think are kind of broken, like barrier and crit chance. Uh, I think, by the way, hunters are going to be absolutely rampant. And uh, they're going to be absolutely rampant and they're going to not only slaughter everybody, but they're going to build a 100% crit chance and do more damage than they would do before, plus more. So like double it, then add some. It's pretty insane. Uh, the next video today will be a crit chance build, so you'll be able to see it firsthand, but I do have my full build on now. I want to take some damage here so I can show you the lifesteal in action. Look at that go up. Look at that healing. Holy shit. I just healed like a thousand HP. No issues. My auto attacks are healing me for like 160, by the way. My auto attacks are healing me for 160 because I'm getting the 120 lifesteal because they increase lifesteal against gods and the lifesteal cap. 
and then the extra 33% from Rejuvenating Heart. And then I hit Life Steel Cap with these three items. So, like, uh, it's just, it's absurdly overpowered. Um, if you're just, like, auto-attacking someone with your three on them, they will not live. I mean, they might live, but they won't kill you, probably. I'm down to risk it. I want to see how it goes. Hit me, please. Look at the healing. Look at the healing. Straight up the full health. Straight up the full health, dude. Yep, yep. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Kill me? Ow. How are you going to kill me? How are you going to kill me? It's impossible. I take no damage. I life steal too much. Now, against minions, my life steal is worse, but only a minuscule amount because of the fact that uh, I ouch. Because of the fact that they lowered life steal by twenty five percent on minions, multiplicative, I assume, and they added thirty percent to your life steal. So you're still doing a little bit less, but when your life steal cap, you're not going to feel it that much. You really only feel it when you're, uh, when you're like not full build. Okay. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Perfect showcase. Perfect showcase. Look how much healing I just got back, dude. Oh, now you jump on me. Okay. And now you die. Honk. I killed myself. Wait. Wait. Bonk. I missed again. Wait. That hit. Life steal. My auto attack didn't go off. I can't move. Ouch. Boop. Oh my god. I healed over a thousand HP. I healed over a thousand HP with my three and an auto attack. That's insane. I'm not going to end the game yet. I'm not going to end the game because I want to see how far I can stretch it. 3k pot, 500 pot, red buff. I'm doing it all. By the way, when do the meteors stop coming? They only come for like the first 10 minutes of the game or something. I guess. That's interesting. Come on, red buff. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So another thing about this is uh, because lifesteal is percentage based, the more damage you deal, the higher you lifesteal, obviously. Uh, and that works even better now because of the increased percentage. So 3k pot, 500 pot, red buff, 805 power, full lifesteal. It's going to be very hard for him to kill me. Now, I will say the shield... You don't life steal off of shield uh doing shield damage, so like I gotta get through that damage first, but there we go. Ow. I wanna take damage without dying just so I can see my life steal. Ow. Okay, well. I wanted to take damage without dying, and then I died on Fort. He probably can... I mean, I'm sure he can just go win the game now, which is fine if he wants to. I just want to see the lifesteal in action, my dude. My nostrils. You cannot do that without me. He's full crit, but... uh. Full crit is not good against Phoenix. What's your attack speed? Oh, it's capped. Does this give attack speed? Oh my god, it does. That's... Dude, Crimson Claws is a broken item. Also, if you're wondering what these little icons are, uh, they're relic quests, meaning that your relics level up by default now. 
You don't actually have to do anything to level up relics. Uh, <clears throat> but, oh, you know what I can do? I can do the phantom shell tech. I can do phantom shell against on her this game. Oh my God. There's so many cool things, man. Season 11 opens so many cool options. Where is he? I think he's waiting for 3k pot. Yeah, my damage is not very great. I was healing my minion just there. Did you see that? No way. Rejuvenating heart heals minions? No way. That's that's massive. That's actually so fucking big. Look. Look at the little the little healing on the minions. I guess you can't see it because I'm not close to him, but ow. Life steal. Life steal. <laughs> he had to jump in. He had to jump on it to try to get me out. Cute. Look at how much healing I get from my auto attack. Bro, over 200 health from my magical auto attack. Uh, you're dead, by the way. Oop. 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 Over 200 healing from one auto attack. Absolutely incredible. And look, you can see the healing now. Wait, you can't see it. Wait, why did it... Y'all saw that, right? I'm not delusional. It worked for a second. Oh, it's because I'm full health. Maybe, hold on. Let me take some damage. No? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm going to keep playing with the build, though. It's so much fun, dude. There's so much to talk about. Like, the the lifesteal changes, the meteor changes, the relic changes, the build changes, the new items in the game. Like, there's just so much. We're gonna need some booby traps. <clears throat> there's just so much to yap about, dude. I just want to see my healing go ballistic. I don't care if I lose this game. I just want to see my healing go ballistic. Hello. Hurt me, please. I I won the minions. Oops. Hello, can you hurt me a little bit? A little more. One more. A little more. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Now look at the healing. Look at the lifesteal. Look at the heals, dude. Holy shit. I can't kill me. Look at the healing. A thousand HP. All the way up to 20, 2200 and he died? Like, come on. Afrubis is insane, man. Afrubis is insane. Holy shit. Actually incredible. I don't want to like just keep farming him. So I'll end the game. But uh, I want to show you guys the clip before I before I dip out too. Credit where credit's due. You know, I didn't make up this build. Let's give credit where it is. Uh, this is the man who made the build. Monitor capture. Uh, uh, let's see. It is your sexy cookie. And as you can see, he has the same build as me, except he went uh, pendulum, where I can't go pendulum and duel, so I just went chrono spending here, and I, I built the same like order and everything. So uh, He just takes a bunch of damage here. You'll see he's got 2,400 health down to 1,300. I don't know if you guys can see, so I'm narrating. 1,200 HP now, all the way down to... He has 230 health. He uses his three and some auto attacks and goes straight up to full health. Straight up to full health. Let's, can I watch this in slow-mo, by the way? Playback speed, 0.25. Because I want to I wanna show you guys. 
He auto attacks 247 plus 82 off of that auto attack, which means he's healing over 300 damage. He's healing 300 health per auto attack, which is just absolutely insane. Um, And he calls it Afrubis, like I said. So I'm going to title mine Afrubis. Give him the shout out he deserves. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think I, I did, I did good on the build. I think it's hilariously broken and lifesteal on gods is crazy. I wish you could see player healing here based off lifesteal, but you can't, it would definitely be over a hundred thousand. I feel like I healed so fucking much. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this season 11 first build first idea that I, I didn't even come up with, but that I played and, uh, Thank you guys so much for coming out to Worlds and, and meeting me. I really appreciated meeting every single one of you guys. I didn't take any of it for granted. Even if you just stopped by for a fist bump, you didn't want, want me to sign anything or take a photo because you didn't want to take up my time. Uh, first off, please take up my time. If you see me in person, please say hello. Even if you see me in person, like just anywhere in the world, please say hello. It makes me feel amazing. And, you know, I'm sure you'd like it too. So, um, yeah, I, I just I just really appreciate it so much, man. Thank you, guys. I, I didn't take any of it for granted, like I said. And uh, I can't wait for my next opportunity to meet everyone. But yeah, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.